important point is that the young people have invented new ways to do these things online. It's the emerging online life of the digital native. They communicate through instant messaging and chat. They share through blogs and MySpace. They buy and sell through eBay. They exchange peer-to-peer. -peer. They learn from Wikipedia and YouTube and searching. They meet in Second Life, which we don't even have time to talk about. They game online in the massive multiplayer games and on their cell phones, etc., etc. As educators, we have to know what's going on in this online life because that's where the kids are most involved and engaged. And this is not to say in any way that every one of your kids does all of these things. I bet that's not the case. But that's where things are headed, and everyone does some of them. And every kid in the world today knows that they are part of the digital generation. They tell us, we grew up interacting through computers and cell phones. That's how we learn. They don't want to adapt to the past. Why should we? We live in the 21st century. Why shouldn't we be taught in 21st century ways? And when they ask, when we ask them, well, what do you mean by that? They're pretty articulate about it. Not immediately, you have to sort of pull some of this out and work with them and talk with them. But what they like is the group work and the projects and the case studies and activities and the discussions and the interactions. What they don't want is to be lectured at. And I don't care how good a lecturer you are, I can't give this talk to a bunch of kids and have them like it. Because that's not who they are. They would tell me they're bored. I would be designing games with kids. I would be doing something very different. What is there, if I can sum it up, they want to be connected. They want community.